Okay, it says to simplify number six. So when simplifying number six, let's go inside the radical first. So in this radical, what two numbers can I split this into? Four, Four and six. If you want to do two and 12, that's okay. You will just have to further factor. And isn't this a perfect square yes. of two? And I already had a two on the outside, so I'm not going to change that. And radical six does not have a pair, so I'm going to leave that inside the radical. So the final answer is four radical six. Now let's go on to number 14. I'm recording. Be nice. No, 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 no. We're not going to repeat it. Let's not repeat. Okay, on number 14, could I move the 7 over to the left? Mm -hmm. And since I know we have um, 7 and we have a 43 degrees, I want to look at it from that angle. Now, you could choose to find y first, x first, doesn't matter. Let's find x just because it's alphabetical. Let's start by labeling. When I label from 43, the jump is the opposite, and the larger side is hypotenuse, and here's my adjacent. So if I want to find x, I need o and a. So let's write out soka to on the top somewhere. So ka toa. Which trig ratio involves o and a? Tangent. So we have tangent of angle 43. Ooh is equal to my opposite seven over the X. And I gave you all a trick. When you have all over X, what can I do with the other side? Swap. Swap them. So we have X equals seven over tangent of 43. And if you um, notice the instructions, it says angle measures to whole number, side lengths to two decimal places. So let's type that in. So we have 7 over tangent of 43. And our number should be pretty close to 7 also. Is it pretty close to it? So we have x equals how many? 7.51. 7 5, 1. Very good. Now let's set up the other proportion. Not proportion, ratio. For the next one, I still want to use the opposite because... If you round as you go, your answer is inaccurate, right? So I want to use the opposite and the hypotenuse. So which trick function is that one? So we have sine. So sine of 43 is equal to my opposite 7 over the um, y. Can I use the same rule by swapping? So we have y is equal to 7 over sine of 43. And because it's a hypotenuse, it should be greater, much greater than 7, maybe a little greater. So let's do the same thing, 7 over sine of 43. Your number should be bigger than either of those two legs. Is 10 greater than both of them? Okay, so we have 10 point how many? 10.26. And then it says to find the perimeter. Let's go ahead and write 16 down here as well. And let's start adding them. And when I'm adding the perimeter, it's going to be just a distance around the outer figure. So it'll be this guy right here. So I'm going to start with the 16 plus the 7 plus another 16 plus the x, 7.51, and plus the y, 10.26. And that's going to give us 56.77. That was a good question, actually. All right, next one. What number was after this? Okay, 18. Okay, number 18. Spreadly, let's read. The high wire reaches from the top of a 120 meter television transmitter tower to the ground. The wire makes a 60 degree angle with the ground. Okay, I want to start with the tower. We have 120 um, tower, so that's going to be our vertical distance. And the guy wire is to the ground, so that means we're looking at this guy right here. 
and let's put in our right angle and it makes 63 degrees. Let's go ahead and label. In respect to 63, when I jump, it's my opposite. Then I have my adjacent, even though I don't need it. And there's our hypotenuse. So involving 120 and X, which trig operation are we looking at? Sine. Sine. So we have sine of the angle, 63, is equal to 120 over the X. Again, what can I do since I have the all variable on the bottom? Swap. So when I do, I get X equals 120 over sine of 63. The only downside is if you have this on a wrong mode, every single question will be wrong. 120 over sine of 63. And let's kind of lo um, look at this logically. Because I'm looking for the hypotenuse, it has to be greater than 120, right? So when I press enter, always double check that the number is relevant. So we're looking at this to two decimal places. So 134 point how many? 68. 68, very good. And for this one, just to be more accurate, let's say meters. Okay, 22 is our next one. So 22 says find the missing side. Let's say you get a brain fart and you don't remember the Pythagorean triple. Can you choose to just use Pythagorean theorem? Maybe, okay? But I wanna be clever and use my Pythagorean triple. Let's do a reminder here. The first triple that I taught you was three, four, five. The next one was five, 12 and 13. And then seven, 24 and 25. And I know we have the eight one that I choose not to memorize because these three are the most often used. So looking at the combination of 10 and six, which one are we gonna pertain this one to? Hmm. 10 and six are both divisible into something common between these three triples. I'm gonna write three, four, five. Six goes down here, 10 goes right here because three times six, I mean three times two, five times two, so therefore my empty pieces is what? Okay, what about the next one? It looks like the next one pertains to which one? Okay, let's try that. And if you have to guess and check, that's okay. Five, 12, and 13. So it looks like 26 and th um, 10, 10 is gonna go under the five, 26 under the 13. And if you look at this, they're both multiplied by how many? Two. So that means 12 times two is? 24, ooh, go with 24. And then we have, the next one is probably most likely seven, 24, 25. Okay, so let's check. Seven divisible by 21. Where would I write 72? 24. 24. So we know seven times how many is 21? Three. Is 24 times three also 72? Mm-hmm. So that means 25 times three is 75. 75. 